Welcome to Ridge Life, I'm Tim, and today we have a very special treat, an early season bow hunt. As you can see, you know, the trees still have leaves on them. This is in October in the south. It's in the 80s today. Um, it's really warm, you know, to go deer hunting. You know, I'm getting mosquitoes and chiggers are still out and ticks are everywhere. Um, but you got to get out in the woods. That's where the deer, deer are. So we got out in this stand right here. And um, this is uh, where we have a lot of deer traffic. The food plot is right behind us. You know, we just got that in. Uh, the deer aren't quite uh, in the food plot yet. That's going to be more of a winter uh, forage. Uh, acorns are everywhere in the woods right now. So they're coming out of the deep, deep bedding area, heading out to their forage where all these oaks have acorns all over the forest. So um, by nightfall, you know, they may out, be out in the fields at nightfall, but this is a staging area right here for the evening. So we, we got up in that tree stand right there in, in the evening and around six o'clock the action started. Now before that we had of course squirrel and um, beautiful cardinals fly up on us. We even saw a red fox in a den doing something in, in, its, uh, in its little den there. You'll see that in the video. I have no idea what that red fox was doing. Maybe it got a hold of a snake or something and was tugging on it. But check that video out. It's pretty cool. Again, we also had a raccoon come through while we were hunting. Um, then, of course, we had a, another a doe come through the woods. It was about 65 yards away too far for me and I didn't really have a good shot on it with a crossbow. I'm hunting with a crossbow this season. Got up in that stand right there, all that activity was going on and then right before dark, just a little after six, we had a fawn come out of the woods. I heard something uh, on the right side of me and a fawn comes out, then another fawn comes out and these were uh, four month old. You know, they're already out of spot and uh, you know, um, you know, they're, they're decent sized deer. You know, they're not, you know, little bitty spotted, spotted fawns. But here comes Mama Doe right after that. I mean, big old nanny, nanny doe. So she comes out and she is just looking plump and tasty. And of course, the, you know, the fawns being of their age, they're gonna live just fine. I read that, you know, they can live, you know, if they're three, four months old, that they live no problem. You know, you gotta watch out for predators, but of course, you know, all deer gotta watch out for predators. So I, uh, uh, the deer came out and that's where the action took place. And you'll see that here in just a little bit on the video. Now I will say I checked my game cameras after this event. I came back afterwards and uh, I, I, I saw the, you know, the deer come out the day I shot it. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the deer was not in the frame when I shot it, but I did, I did get video of that. But um, the next day, those two fawns were back here, you know, grazing and doing the things they do in this staging area. So those fawns are just fine. And uh, I'll keep an eye on them on, on the trail cams. And hopefully you will too. I'll be putting trail cam videos out uh, very, very often, especially here in the fall leading up to winter. I like getting those trail cam videos out to you because you really like seeing what's coming through and all the antlers and the growth. You know, we had velvet in the, in the, in the fall and the late summer. So uh, really, really enjoyable to watch all that growth and all the activity of the animals here on the ridge. So uh, let's get to the video and you can see all the action that took place on this crossbow deer hunt here on the ridge in western Tennessee.
that was a doe and two yearlings. I got the big doe, went down right over there. I'm gonna give it some time. But I heard her go down. So here's our arrow, just soaked. I mean, just soaked in blood. Um, I'm pretty sure I heard her crash about 40 yards that way. I'm gonna walk away, go towards the barn, get the Kubota, let her be. I'm not even gonna go out there yet, but man, oh, that's clean blood, just soaked in blood, just soaked. Let's go get the Kubota, give her a little more time, but I am super excited. We're back, it's been uh, over a half hour since we uh, shot the deer, and we're at the location. Uh, we're gonna find our first spot of blood, you know, where the arrow went down, lots and lots of blood all over that arrow. So I got, I got my good buddy Gavin here with me, he's gonna help me uh, track this deer, aren't you buddy? Yes, sir. You got your flashlight, I got flashlight, and we got our, uh, we got our new wireless Rode go system a uh, wireless microphone system i'm really excited about using this. this is the first time we used it uh in an instance like this so let's get out and find this deer all right so i know it went that way all right so let's come over here watch your step let's see if we can find blood and yeah, the arrow i am so blind okay look here guys see you see the arrow the arrow went in right there see all that blood mm -hmm. all right so that's right there's where the arrow went in the ground so we need to back up. We went through her right here. There should be tons of blood on the ground right here as she ran this way. Let's see if we can find it. <laughs> All right, so we have tons of blood right here. Where'd it go? All right, so we got bubbly blood. That means a good lung hit there, it looks like. Let's see if we can find where she went off into the woods and start tracking. I'm pretty sure I know where she went, so we just got to, I heard her crash, I'm pretty sure. So let's just keep going. Yeah, that is true, that is true. All right, guys, we're about 30 yards from the Kubota and we can see where she ran right through here. Y'all see all that blood right there? I mean, it's pretty good. Oh, it's coming out really nicely. Lots and lots of blood. So let's keep following this trail. I guarantee she's not too much farther. So let's see if we can keep finding. Huh? More blood? All right. Here's blood. See right there's blood. Right there's blood. Yeah, right here's blood. Oh, look at all the blood, Gavin. See all the blood right there? I mean, that means she's really bleeding well. Curious where I stuck her. Well, the reason why it's probably more and more blood in the is because the heart's probably getting worked up more and more. That's right, that's right. So, jumped over this log right here. Oh man, see so a blood all over this. Let's get over the stick here. Oops. All right, keep, there's blood. Oh, look at that blood there, buddy. Hmm? Blood here. Oh, she is stuck. So, oh, Gavin, look right here. What? Look right there. 
Look at all that. It looks like she rested. No, that was, uh, she, oh, there she is, look. Look at that big old doe. You see her? Yeah. That is big. Look at all the blood, yeah, she, she dropped. Look at the size of that deer. That's a nice doe. That'd be really scary if she was alive. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's what we do is we kick her. Yep, she's down. What? Why do we kick her? Just to, in case she's alive and she's resting or something, you kick her so she jumps up so you don't get right on top of her. You know, if it was a buck with antlers, you wouldn't want it to gore you. Look at the, look at the cut there, buddy. That's where the bullet went in, or the arrow went in, right there. Oh, spider. Yep, look at that. Right there's where it went in. Mm -hmm. I was shooting, I was really close, went down and away, right through the lung and right through the heart. Spider. I'm Can almost certain. I hope everyone enjoyed that video. That doe is gonna taste awesome. We, she was plump, huge, and it was an awesome shot. Um, so I was about 17 feet up in the tree stand and the deer was 10 yards, yes, just 10 yards away. So I was kind of shooting down at it. And um, when it took, came out in the open there, you know, I'd already, already ranged it and I was, I was ready with a crossbow. And when she stepped there, I, I took her and it was a good thud. I mean, just that good thud sound. She ran off and I listened and I listened and I listened and I heard her crash. And when you hear a deer crash after shooting, especially bow hunting, cause you know, bow hunting, they can, they can go sit down and uh, you know, they can be awake for hours and then you end up driving them if you go pushing them, you know, going at, you know, tracking them before, the, before they're down. Um, you'll drive them for miles sometimes, but no, I heard her crash. And when you hear a deer crash, it's just a, just a great feeling. So got down and found the arrow you saw us find the arrow covered in bubbly blood went through the lung well what we found was yes it went high through the uh, left lung went through the heart and out the lower right shoulder i mean it was just a just a i couldn't ask for a better shot thank you thank you lord for uh providing me the you know the the, the aim and guidance i needed that that day so uh yeah when i when i quartered up the deer and got the heart out and there was a trifoil cut right through the top of the heart. I mean, that, that, that um, a muzzy blade just did its job, went right through it and uh, came out the other side. The blades were still intact. Everything looked great on that tricor uh, uh, broadhead. So uh, we got that arrow hung up in the, in the office there with all the, you know, just the way it was. And I pulled it out of the ground. That's a, it's a good little trophy there. And I took uh, the broadhead off of it and uh, put that in my harvest jar. I put a little date and everything, the time date. That was my first crossbow deer, everybody. I have never taken a deer with a crossbow before. So big nanny doe, crossbow, October hunt here on the ridge. Super, super excited. And I hope you all enjoyed it again as well. Um, if you can, subscribe to Ridge Life. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell to be notified a new video comes out. We plan on shooting a lot more deer here on the ridge. So hit that notification bell. So until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed day and Go Ridge Life.